So uh, in this International Yoga Day, we are going to focus on the cleansing. I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, so we are going to focus on the cleansing part. And as I said, like, you know, the major problem is the dirt and the toxins we have within. If you do the yoga, if you follow the cleansing diet, it will help you in cleansing yourself from within. What is cleansing diet? Number one, no toxins, no processed food, no maida based food. Eat clean, eat plant-based food, eat healthy food. That's one of the most important rule of the cleansing diet and when we are thinking of cleansing our blood. Eat how much you really require for sustainability. Don't overdo with the food. Apart from that, what we are going to do is focusing on more flushing of the toxins through water. So These are the three elements that we have to consider and keep in mind when we are doing the lymphatic cleansing, which is called blood cleansing. And Pranjal is here with us who will be taking this session and guiding us how we can use the different asanas and the pranayama to cleanse our system. Now, few things please keep in mind Aj, throughout the day. Don't eat anything junk. Eat more fiber because along with the asanas, the right food can really help you in flushing it more efficiently. These five days are very crucial. And I, I just tell you that, you know, you will feel the change after the five days. But my five key rules, no outside food, no junk, no fried food, more fiber from salad, vegetables, more of the protein so that we can cleanse and repair our system, more water to flush it. So that's the key rule and, and that's how we have to start with it. Pranjal, are you ready? Ranjal, are you ready? Are we all ready? Are we ready to start the yoga? And we can do one thing. Please, for next five days, can we eat more greens, more colorful vegetables in our plate? Can we do that? Can we drink a lot of water, at least three liters of water a day? Keep the water bottle handy in the morning, only prepare three bottles and keep next to you. And make sure you are drinking that throughout. And third, no junk. Eat healthy, eat right, eat clean. Uh, hi, Neha. Hi, Pranjal. Uh, can you, can you, can you give, give me access to other accounts? Uh, because because I'm I'm not on, from, you are on from two devices, so I have muted you in one so because your voice was equal can you tell me uh, uh, two devices are there yes uh, yes yeah give access to that is it okay um uh, Pranjal, you have to unmute yourself from one device. Otherwise, it is going to start equal. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Is it okay? Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. Non-veg, please don't eat it for a little bit. Don't eat it because non veg mein na hum jab animal ko khate hai na usse pehle there is like lot of blood strains on top of that which also produce lot of toxins again animal proteins are more heavy to digest and what we are doing five days cleansing take egg egg white absolutely okay chicken soup okay with vegetable stock or we can take the grilled fish in next five days once only so if you can avoid, nothing better than that because we are cleansing the system. Cleanse your system you know, from inside. And if we do this process five days every month or twice in a you know, year or thrice in a year, you will feel 
the body is responding much better to you. There won't be any brain fog. There won't be any, you know, uh, we generally feel that, you know, sluggishness. There won't be any sluggishness at, sluggishness at all. And I know, can you hear me now? I can hear you, Pranjal. Okay, perfect, perfect. One second, okay. I will spotlight you for everyone. I hope this uh, is fixed now, Pranjal. Yeah, yeah, spotlight that uh, other one, okay? That other movie. one, uh, how will I get to know? Just a second. Where uh, my complete view is there. Both are with the same. You are talking the one with, from which you are talking or other one? No, no, no. Other one. Other one. I have one joined from other. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm yeah. done. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, hello, all of you. Good morning. I hope everybody is doing great. First of all, happy International Yoga Day. This is our 10th International Yoga Day. I'm very excited to take the sessions on behalf of SugarFit. I can see uh, many similar familiar faces, those who joined my sessions. Uh, I am audible, right? Perfect. Ranjal, you are audible. Just uh, thoda piche baitho. Yes, yes. Uh, no, I was just Perfect. talking, so that's why I like it was in between. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, aap sabhi ko antarashtriya yoga divas ki bhot bhot shubhakam ne. As Neha said, like we are we are starting with lymphatic cleansing. Okay. आज हम लिम्फेटिक क्लिनजिंग से शुरू करने वाले हैं ये बहुत अहम हिस्सा है लाइक दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन यू नो बिल्डिंग योर आर इम्यून सिस्टम ओके सो वी वर्क ऑन दैट टुडे सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स बिगिन आर सेशन थ्री थिंग्स एज नेहा सेड ओके आई विल ऐड थ्री मोर थिंग इन दैट दोज हु आर डूइंग इट फर्स्ट टाइम प्लीज डू गो स्लो we have taken simple asanas okay so there won't be any uh, jerky movement to your body or you know there won't be any too much twist and turns for your body but those who are doing first time those who are going those who are having any injury or any kind of surgery please do it very gently don't give any jerk to your body uh, even if i am giving some 10 counts or 7 counts whatever it is if you feel you want to leave the posture in between you can leave it there is no compulsion and yoga is for our health it's not for a competition so don't exceed your limit okay so with that note we will start our session and keep the smiling face in every posture let's start our session Pranjal, if you can just look in the center, you keep your laptop in the center because right now it is, you know, on the one particular side. <laughs> yes, center. If you keep, we will be able to see you better. Okay, perfect. There will be a good eye contact. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, Let's... sab ready hain. I hope everyone is ready. Apne mat ke saath. I I want everyone to quickly turn on the camera. जो लोग चेयर पे बैठ के करना चाहते हैं दे कैन डू इट ऑन द चेयर अरे वाह राकेश जी दैट्स दैट्स रियली गुड आई थिंक यू आर कंप्लीटली इनफॉर्म वेरी नाइस या यू कैन डू द आसनास इन चेयर लाइक वेयर एवर यू आर फीलिंग नी पेन्स दे कैन डू इट ऑन द चेयर ऑन द चेयर ऑन द बेड वेयर एवर इट इज पॉसिबल ओके Okay, Pranjal. Oh. Let's start. Let's start. Yes. Everybody, first close your eyes. Just focus on your natural breathing. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Complete focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two slow and long breaths. Relax your mind. Relax your body. Prepare your mind and body 
फॉर योग साधना योग प्रैक्टिस रिलैक्स कंप्लीटली रिलैक्स नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी मिनट्स विल बी कंप्लीटली फॉर योर हेल्थ माय फोकस विल बी कंप्लीटली ऑन माय सेल्फ ऑन माय हेल्थ Now we will chant three times Om. For that, exhale completely. Inhale deeply. And while exhaling, Ucha. in here Now, rub your palms to each other. Apply the heat gently on your eyes, and slowly open up your eyes. Good morning. Okay. I hope my voice is okay, right? Yes. Excuse me. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So let's start. First, interlock your fingers and give nice stretch to your body. Stretch yourself, yes. Stretch, stretch, and relax. One more time. Interlock, inhale, and stretch yourself. Up, stretch, 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 and relax. Okay. <clears throat> Now, in lymphatic system, we have lymph nodes throughout the body. Okay, that are present in neck, shoulders, armpits, stomach, back, chest, groin area. So before we do any yoga practice or any uh, exercise for that matter, we start with warm up exercises or sukshma vyayam in yoga we call it. So we will start with our neck. Exhale, neck down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Do it very gently. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, neck to the center. Inhale right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. In. keep doing don't stop keep inhaling breathe in keep out breathe in
what happened currently. Yes, Francis, one second. Hello. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, we will rotate our neck. Exhale, first down. And slowly start rotating neck. Slowly. Don't give any jerky movement. Those who are having vertigo or any cervical related issue, do it very slowly, very gently. Don't give any stress. Four and five. Now reverse. One. Two, three, four, and five. Relax. Okay. Now for our shoulders, rotate your shoulders. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Yes. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now back to front. Inhale up, exhale down. Do it very slowly. Don't give any jerk. Keep your hands on your knees. Those who are sitting on the chair, they can keep their hands on the chair arm and relax. Okay. Now, stretch your hands forward. Stretch your hands forward. Stretch your fingers as much as you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And close. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, close. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, close. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, close. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, close. Make a fist. Start rotating your wrist. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Relax your hands. Now, open your arms like this. Inhale back. Exhale front. Inhale back. Exhale front. Inhale back. Exhale front. Inhale back. Exhale, front. Last time, inhale back. Exhale, front. Keep your hands on your shoulder and start rotating. One, two, three, four. Sir, you can do it at any position. Like it's these are just both. Exercises you can do it either on sitting on the chair. If you are comfortable sitting down, you can do that as well. There is no issue in that. Now back to front. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Okay. Now everybody stand up.
Okay. Now we will do just forward and backward bend. Inhale, push your hips forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Exhale, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, yes everybody. Exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Last time, inhale forward, exhale back. Okay, relax. Now, first asana we will be doing is Padhasta Padhastasana. Okay, first we will do Padhastasana. Uh, we will be doing more of forward bending. So those who are having slip disc related issue or lower back related issue, do it very gently. Okay, don't go too much down. You know, touch the ground. First, observe the asana. First, you have to interlock your finger at the back and just pull your shoulders back like this. Okay, give nice, squeeze your shoulder blades. Hold here for 10 counts. Keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Keep breathing, 2, and 1. Relax. Now, you have to stretch it back. And while exiting, you have to go down as much as you can. Okay? Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last time. Exhale down and hold. Hold here for 10 counts. 10, 9. Feel the flow of blood. Those who are having high BP, they can hold just for five counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale up and relax. Just loosen your hands. Okay. Next is warrior. Okay. So take three to four feet distance between your legs. First, turn your right leg to the right side. Left leg will be in line with your... Uh, there is a request. Please go a bit slow so that elderly people can also do it along with you. Okay. 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 So next is warrior pose where you have to just turn your right leg to the right side like this left leg will be straight both the heels are in one line okay and first we will be doing warrior two simple warrior okay so you have to spread your hands as much as you can and you have to bend your right leg right knee those who are having right knee uh, sorry knee related issue they can just do micro bending of their knee. Those who are okay with bending, they can just bend to the 90 degree and hold here. One, keep breathing. Two, three, four, perfect, everyone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Side change. Same. Now, first come to the center. Now, turn your left foot to the left side. Right leg straight. Both heels in one line. Now, again, spread your hands. Bend your left knee as much as you can. Stand straight. Keep breathing. Yes. 10, perfect, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 
come to the center. Don't change the position. Okay. Now, again, turn your right feet to the right side. Okay. Now, we will be doing reverse warrior. Okay. So, here, you have to turn yourself to the right side. Bend your right knee. And then, raise your right hand up. Left hand will be on left leg. And just go back like this. Yes. Hold for 10 counts. Keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly come to the center again. And now change the sides. Perfect, everyone. Change the sides, left foot straight, right foot, left foot to the left side, right foot to the straight. Again, now raise your left hand up first, bend your left knee and arch back. Keep breathing. Then give nice smiling face, gentle smile on your face. Keep breathing. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Down. Now, come to the center. And relax. Now, we will be going for another, that is mountain pose. Okay. So, first, you can... Sit on your knee. Keep your hands on the mat and raise your knee up. Okay? Just mountain pose. Okay? Or downward dog. We do it in yoga. Surya Namaskar. So here you have to touch your heels to the ground. Okay? Those who can't do on the mat, those who can't sit down, they can just Simply keep the chair like this and do this. Okay. Just you have to feel the flow of the breath. Okay. Now, in mountain pose, you have to do alternate legs like this. Okay. Look at my leg movement. One, two, three. Oh, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, both heels on the ground. Hold here for ten counts. Ten more counts. Keep breathing. Those who are feeling any discomfort, they can release the asan. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee on the floor, just relax. We'll be doing this one more time. Just relax. Okay, let's go for another set. Keep your hands forward. Those who can't do like this, they can just put their knee on the floor and just do this. Okay. Now, raise your knee up. And again, start with alternate heels. When you have to feel the blood rush to your head. Two. Three. Keep your head down so that the blood can flow towards your head. The more five, the flow towards head, the better will be your circulation and healing. Six, seven, 
Vanna Loya ji, please keep doing. Bye. Bye. And perfect. Now, hold here, hold the pose. Feel the, the blood which is going towards your face. Just keep your head down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Knee on the floor and just relax. Relax in child pose. And then slowly come to Vajrasana or just Sukhasana. Well, it will be good if we can hold the position so that people can do along with you. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, now, next is we will be doing Vyagrasana. Okay. Here, you will be keeping your hand like this first. Come on your knee. Distance between your knees should be as per your shoulder distance. Keep your hands on the mat, back parallel to the mat. Okay. Now, here you have to give curve to your back first, like this. Okay. And then in Vyagrasan, we do keep taking our knee to the head. And raise your leg back like this. One. Two. Yes. Head down. Head down. And head up. Leg up. Head down. Inhale. Head up. Leg up. Yes. Head down. Inhale. Head up. Leg up. Head down. Inhale, head up, leg up, head down, inhale, head up, leg up, head down, inhale, head up, leg up, and now, just hold this position where head down, knee to, towards your head, feel the rush of the blood again towards your head, keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, keep breathing, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Leg down. Now, we will be doing with another leg. Same. In here. Inhale, take your head up, leg up, exhale, head down, leg to the knee, knee to the head. Inhale, head up, leg up, exhale, knee to the head. Inhale, head up, leg up, exhale, knee to the head. Inhale, head up, leg up. Exhale, knee to the head. Inhale, head up, leg up. Exhale, knee to the head. Again, inhale, head up, leg up. Exhale, knee to the head. Last time, inhale, head up, leg up. Exhale, knee to the head. Hold the position for 10 count. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee down and relax in Vajrasana for a while. Or you can just sit in Sukhasana. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, ma'am. Okay. I can, I, I'm showing you the variations as well. See, 
as I told, you should feel the blood flow. Okay. You can do same thing with the chair. Okay. See, like you can do it like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Those who are having any knee related issue, those who can't sit down. Okay. For them, I'm holding the pose. Okay. For them. Just you have to do like this. Feel the head rush. Okay. Yeah. Next is dolphin pose. Okay. So as we do in mountain pose, we just lift our hips like this. Okay. In dolphin. First, we have to keep our elbows on the mat, like we go for, like we do it in the plank. Same way, we have to keep it on the mat, and then now lift your knees up and feel the head brush. Go to the plank position and gradually lift your hips up. This will allow the blood to flow from hip area to the neck area. The more the blood yes. flows in the opposite direction, the more it opens up, the more it cleanses. Ensure after this yoga session, we drink a lot of water. Uh, Pranjal, can we turn on the lights? Uh, although the environment seems to be good to me, but few people are not able to see properly. Focus. Try to be in the downward position. Go in the high plank and then towards the low plank. So encourage your blood flow. It's fine, Pranjan. Okay. Just relax for a while. Relax for a while. Knees on the floor. Okay. We will be doing variation here. Okay. Same thing. You have to keep your elbows down okay hips up as much as you can and first knee down but don't touch the ground those who can do this then hips up again again knee down again knee up knee down knee up it also activates your calf muscles as well when you do the knee down and knee up. At the same time, it also gives flow of the blood from hip region to head region. Again, up and down. Pranjal, can the chair one also in the same posture? Yes, yes, I'm showing that. Yes. Keeping the chair like this. Either if you can able to do, able to keep your hands here and just do this, this, down, this, down, keeping your elbow on the chair like this. So have vertigo, please don't do. Yes, those who are having vertigo or hypotension, high BP, do it as per their capacity. You can just do two to three uh, reps, that is also fine. Okay, they can just do this as well. Those who are on the chair, they can keep their hands down and just do this. Up, down, up, down, up, and down. Okay. Just relax. Those who are done, just relax and try and pose like this. Keep breathing. Okay. 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 Whenever we 
the basic rule i tell everyone for inherent acceleration whenever we go for upward direction or we, whenever we do the back bend we have to inhale and whenever we are bending forward we have to exhale okay this is the basic rule in any asana you have to keep that in your mind okay and whenever we are holding the pose we have to keep breathing we should not hold our breath at any point okay next is again simple we do cat and cow now we have to do only cow position for that just inhale first give little bit back bend and while exhaling just chin to the chin to your collarbone and pull your back up as much as you can pull your back up as much as you can okay here you can keep your legs as per your shoulder distance or you can keep it close there is not not an issue it is as per your con convenience or comfort you can keep it so pull your back up as much as you can stay there stay here chin to the collarbone that is most important thing okay keep breathing do deep inhalation and exhalation 10 9 meanwhile i'm showing for the chair 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one relax relax in shashankasan relax in child pose those who are in sukhasan they can just sit and relax like this relax for five counts five four Three, two, and one. Up. Perfect. Okay. I'll tell you, sir, we haven't went for that much exercise. For hernia, next, whatever we are going to do, you should not be doing that exercise, but I'll give you variation in that. Okay. Next, we are doing yoga mudra. Or in some yoga school, it is called Mandukasan. So for that, make a fist like this. Keep that fist underneath your abdomen, underneath your belly. Okay. Those who are having hernia or female going through menstrual cycle, please keep your hand at the back like this. Those who can't sit in Vajrasan, they can just sit in Sukhasan. Those who can't sit on the floor, they can just sit on the chair and do this. Inhale, take a deep breath in while exhaling, bend forward, head down, keep breathing, smiling face, head down as much as you can, keep breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Inhale up and relax. Perfect. Now, just you have to release your Vajrasana and just you can lie down on your tummy. And slowly roll on your back just roll on your back okay we will be doing pavan muktasan just bend your knees and hug your knees Hug your knees as much as you can. 
trying to catch your wrist and just hold here, hold here, hold here, keep breathing. Then press as much as you can. Those who can catch their elbows, please catch it. Those who can't, just keep, catch your wrist and Pran hold. Pranjal, please go slow and explain. Uh, can you tell that uh, in Harnia, which, uh, pran you know, which asana we should avoid? Yeah, I have, I have told uh, in that, like, okay. I'll in forward bend, yoga mudra, we should not do, we should keep your hand at the back. And this as well, you can, don't press too much. You can keep it, you know, in lighter note. Keep breathing, hold. Do deep inhalation exhalation. Here, we are tend to hold our breath, but don't hold our breath. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, keep your legs like that. And those who can lift their head up, please lift their head up. Those who can't, they can just, again, keep their head down and hold. Keep breathing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. Head down. Now, keep your legs like that. Just re loosen your grip. Keep your hands like this. Okay, now release your hands, keep it on the floor. Release your hands, keep it on the floor. Legs will be like that. Okay, now we are lifting our legs to 90 degree like this. It's okay those who can't straighten their knees completely. This is also fine. Okay, and this is also fine. Wherever it is, as per your capacity, hold for 10 counts. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four. Here, as you can see, our blood flow is going from our foot to calf muscles to our thigh to the, towards your groins. Bend, bend, bend. Bend again, but don't touch the ground. Now, again, inhale up. And keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. This you can do it on the bed as well. 3, 2, and 1. Again, bend your knees. Two more times we'll be doing this. You can feel the sensation of blood when you... Keep your legs down. Again, keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knees down. And last time. Last time. Last time. Inhale up. Hold. 10. Nine, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee and keep your legs down. When we kept our legs down, you can feel that, like, that the blood flow again got settled to our feet. Okay. Now, next. Again, you have to hug your knees, hug your knees. Those who can do rocking, okay, like this. It gives nice massage to your back as well. Also, it gives nice go forward and back. Do it slowly. Don't do very fast, okay? I could see some users are doing very fast. Do it slowly, okay? Yes. Now, 
keep it in the center again. Now go to the right, come to the center, go to the left, come to the center, go to the right, come to the center, go to the left, come to the center, and relax. Relax. Now, keep your legs close to your hips. Keep your legs close to your hips. Keep your hands underneath your head like this. And now, knees to the right, neck to the left. So, point twisting. Hold here for 10 counts, 10, 9, 8, perfect everyone, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, inhale, knees to the center, exhale, knees to the left, Neck to the center or head to the center. Keep breathing for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Again, knees to the center. And relax. Okay. Leg straight. Now, join your feet together. Interlock your fingers. And again, give nice stretch to your body. Stretch your body as much as you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And relax. Whenever we stretch, you can observe it. Whenever we get up, and whenever we do this, okay, it is the same thing. We are stretching our whole body. We are activating our muscles. We are activating our tissues. Nice. Okay. Now, turn to our right side and get up for the pranayam. Neha, if you can... Uh, Spotlight me this one, other one as well. That will be easier sure. for Okay. Now, we will be doing pranayam. First is abdominal. Okay. Now, is it visible? Yes. Okay. 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 In pranayam for lymphatic flow, we will be doing just two types of breathing. First is abdominal breathing, and second is yogic breathing. Okay. So in abdominal breathing, we just move our abdomen out and abdomen in. Okay. Here we utilize our diaphragm to take a deep breath in and out. Okay. I'll show it to you. Okay. I'm keeping my hand to show my abdominal movement. Inhale, abdomen out. Take a deep breath in while exhaling, abdomen in. I'll abdomen out. I'll give you four counts one, two, three. Inhale while exhaling, one, two, abdomen in, two, three, four. Five and six again. Inhale, abdomen out. One, two, three, four. Exhaling, abdomen in. Two, three, four, five, six. We will do it three times. Keep your hands on your knees. And now, inhale, abdomen out. One, two. Three, 
four, exhale, abdomen in, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, abdomen out, one, two, three, four, exhale, abdomen in, two, three, four, just abdominal movement, five, six. Now, we have done the abdominal movement. Okay. okay. Now, second is yogic breathing. Okay. In yogic breathing, we use our full respiratory muscles to utilize or to take oxygenated air inside our body. Okay. How we do it? Inhale, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up, exhale, shoulder down, chest down abdomen in. Okay, here we are utilizing our diaphragm, then lungs and our clavicular region. Okay, we are using a complete respiratory organs. Inhale, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up, while exhaling, shoulder down, chest down, abdomen in. Inhale, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up, while exhaling, shoulder down, chest down, abdomen in. You can keep your hands on your knee and you can do it. Okay. Just close your eyes. Inhale, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up. While exhaling, shoulder down, chest down, abdomen in. Inhale, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up. Exhaling, shoulder down, chest down, abdomen in. Again, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up. While exhaling, shoulder down, chest down, abdomen in. Last time, inhale, abdomen out, chest up, shoulder up. While exhaling, shoulder down, chest down, abdomen in. Just close your eyes. rounds by yourself of this yogic breathing abdomen out chest up shoulder up while exhaling shoulder down chest down, down abdomen in. inhale abdomen out chest up shoulder up while exhaling shoulder down chest down Abdomen in. Relax. Close your eyes and just lie down on your back. We will be doing one relaxing pose. Okay, this is uh, actually uh, one of the asanas, but here we will be doing it as a relaxation pose. Uh, I'll show it to you. Okay, you can take the chair. Okay, as a prop. If you have, otherwise you can keep your legs on the wall. Okay, lie down on your back. Keep your legs on the chair like this. Okay, and just relax. Okay, just relax. Close your eyes and just relax. Those who can do this, just do it like this. Or those who want to do it on the wall, like keeping your legs completely upwards. And just relax like this. Okay. It gives complete blood flow towards from toes of your legs to your hip region. And just relax like this. Keep breathing. Don't do it in the air. Okay. Don't do it in the air. Okay. We want it to relax. Okay. Just take the support of wall or take the support on the chair. Okay, don't do it without the support because we are relaxing it. Okay. Just relax. Close your eyes. I'll count 30. And just you have to observe what is happening. One. 
two, three, four. Don't keep it in the air. Just you can take the support of chair or take the support of wall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, last 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can just push your chair and just relax on the ground. Just relax on the ground, on the mat, keeping your legs down. Just close your eyes. Lie down and close your eyes. Just observe the effect of today's lymphatic flow practice on your body. Just observe the flow of blood, flow of our lymphatic fluid throughout our body. Just to deeply inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Relax. Completely relax. Whatever practice we have done right now, we'll be doing it every day. Now, five days, we have different kind of cleansing. Just lie down, relax. Now, again, join your feet together. Keeping your eyes closed, join your feet together. Keep your hands on your abdomen. We'll be doing again three Om chant in lying down position itself. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply while exhaling Ucha. Inhale. Inhale. Relax. Now, join your feet together. Again, interlock your finger. Again, give a nice stretch to your body. Give a nice stretch to your armpits, your neck muscle, your hips joint, your groin muscle. And relax. Now, rub your palms to each other in lying down position itself. Apply that heat gently on your eyes. Slowly open up your eyes. Slowly turn to any side and get out. Thank you so much for the session, joining the session.
These are the simple lymphatic cleansing exercises we have done today. So after the practice, as Neha said, you have to drink a lot of water because we have done the flow of lymphatic cleansing. Okay, not just for today, it's general instructions every day we have to do it. These are not advanced practices. This you can do it anytime. Uh, just uh, those who are having any medical complications or anything. Okay, for them, avoid doing that. Only like those who are having any surgery, like any hernia kind of thing, just you have to avoid pressure on your abdomen. Okay. Otherwise, these practices are very simple and anybody can do it on the chair or on the wall. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. Sessions again, Neha. Thank you so much, everyone. I guess, uh, thank you, Pranjal. It was a wonderful session. I request everyone, aap sare sessions join kariye, join all these sessions. These are very simple exercises. We have kept it simple, keeping everyone in mind. We will give you the recording of these sessions to whom? Those who are joining every day. So those who are joining will get the recording of these sessions. You can use that for the practice. Please make sure you are joining all the five sessions. And uh, I got a very good insights from the uh, one of the member uh, join itself that please explain how the different asanas is helping in the cleansing process. So we will do it in the beginning for five minutes so that you all get an idea because while doing the asana, there should be a flow. Yeah. So whenever yeah. you are bending, generally the blood is flowing from top to bottom. But when we are doing the asanas where the blood is flowing from the down to back, it helps in cleansing all the particles, all the toxins and the dirt what has been accumulated inside the system. And that backward flow is also helpful to release the pain. If we have, like, you know, sometimes when we have too much of stress, we work a lot, we get knots formation and that gives a pain. So these opposite blood circulation helps in releasing the pain and they help in opening up all the knots, which gets opened up with the massage, which gets opened up with the different asanas. But every day we cannot do the massage, right? We cannot call everyone. And, uh, and that massage also, like, not the usual massage person, right? There are specific massage person who do the detoxification through the different knots opening. So please be careful. Uh, utilize the opportunity. Whatever you have learned, these are very simple asanas. So when you are move, moving, you know, downward or uh, focusing towards the ground, your head is facing the ground. That all facilitates the blood circulation and lymphatic flow. So please focus. Even when you come back from work, you are stressed out. Please do the baby pose, sukhasana. You know, bend in the. Uh, bridge pose or you do the uh, what we call it dhanurasana no uh, uh, no just, just lie lying last whatever we have done you know those who are having any standing job like for example those who work uh, in sales or you know they do standing jobs they stand for a longer period of time whenever they are coming back they just have to do this thing last we have done standing job also Pranjal, I think. yes this thing just relax yourself like this. You will feel that refreshment, okay? Because whenever we are standing, like every time the blood is going downwards, okay? Whenever we do this, it gives relaxation. It gives, you know, opens up those knots, as Neha said, from our calf muscles, okay? Because otherwise, those who are doing the standing jobs and they are doing it for a prolonged period of time, there are high chances to get varicose vein issue. For that as well, Say the same like yeah for the varicose veins for people who have the severe migraine issues raising your legs will be the best option for you you can be in this posture when you get the uh, attacks it will give you a relaxation quickly even for the pains and uh, even people who are sitting like you know you are sitting in that time your thigh area hip area your stomach is pressed and the circulation is not happening so that's why we say keep move keep moving throughout the day Take the breaks from your seat. So when you come back, please focus on these asanas so that you can open up those holes. Just relax and rest. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining the today's session. And we appreciate your time. Happy International Yoga Day. Keep cherishing the ancestral, you know, assets of India where, you know, these Ayurveda and the yoga, these will go with us lifelong. So thank you so much for joining. Thanks, Pranjal. Thank you so much.